In this video, we are going to make daytime photos look like nighttime photos. And then we are going to add a moon image. There is a very simple way to make daytime photos look like nighttime photos. After opening our photo, I click on the adjustment button in the layers panel and select the color lookup option. After selecting color lookup, you will see these options in the properties panel. If you don't see this panel, you can access this panel by selecting properties directly under window. There will be three options. Let's click on the top one and select moonlight. When we select this, as you can see, it will look like a photo taken in the evening. This process is that simple. Now let's add a moon image to the background. Let's try to get a slightly more beautiful image with the moon shining. When you search for moon on the internet, you will find many such images. Since this image is surrounded by black, I will first need to remove it. I select the ellipse selection tool and draw a circle somewhere in the middle by pressing Alt and Shift on the keyboard. Let's center the circle. Once the moon itself is completely selected, again with our layer selected, let's rename it. I click on the mask icon. When I click on the mask icon, the selected parts will stop and the black parts in the background will disappear. Now I can convert this object into a smart object. I right click and select convert to smart object. Now it's a smart object. I select the selection tool again. Press Ctrl T on the keyboard and that opens transform. We can resize the moon. You can change the position of the moon. Let's try to give it the brightness of the moon. Let's make it a little bit smaller. We will do this in blending options. I right click on the layer, select blending options and we'll see a window like this. The moon is very clear, very detailed right now. We are going to make it a little bit more white. I click on color overlay. The blending mode will be normal and you can see it like this. I'm going to lower this a little bit, the opacity value. We are going to lose a little bit more detail. And then I'm going to check outer glow so that we can give the brightness in the background. We need to make it white. I click on it and select white. I may need to increase the opacity value a little bit here. Let's increase the brightness in the background and the size value at the bottom a little bit so that it stands out more. You can leave it however it looks good to your eyes. This is how we aim to have a glare in the background. If it is OK, we can turn it off by clicking the OK button. Then you can change the position of the moon as you like. I want this moon image to be visible from behind the photo, behind the structure here. With a little more effort, you can decouple the trees, separate the sky and make the moon image visible from behind the trees. I have shown how to separate the trees from the sky with a practical method in my previous videos. You can check that video. I want to show it from behind the structure right now. Let's zoom in it a little bit more. I'm taking the lasso tool. It's going to be a purely purposeful selection. Since I want to remove it from here, I only select this place and I will make a selection so as not to cross the border of the moon image. After making the selection, I click on the mask button again. When I click on the mask button, you will see a chain between the layer and the mask. I click on this chain. First of all, I unlink the relationship by clicking on this chain. Then, I click on the area on the left side. See, when I click on this, the selection of this is clear. When I click on this one, the selection of this one is clear. When I click on the one on the left, I will be able to move the object here. With the move tool, I move the moon image downwards. See, when I move it, it will be behind the structure I just selected. If you prefer not to put it in the center, you can associate the photo with the moon image a little bit more this way. That's it for this video. In this video, we used Photoshop to make a daytime photo look like it was taken at night and we added a moon image to the sky. Thanks for watching. I hope it was useful. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.